If you'd like to add your internet browser as an audio mix or a part of your mix with your Elgato Wave 3 microphone, this is exactly how to do it. This will work for Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet, Edge, Safari, whatever you're using. It works exactly the same for all of them. Any internet audio from any source, whether it's YouTube or anything else, you can play back in an internet browser. This is how you get it into your Wavelink mix for your stream or for just listening on your headphones. Got it? Here we go. So first things first, make sure you have your Elgato Wavelink software up and running and your mic plugged in, of course. And then what you're going to do is go to a new channel in your mixer. So we're going to add our audio input here, plus. And then what I like to do is select browser as our audio input to keep things nice and tidy. Click that. It will create a new channel called browser. Now, I like to rename this source whatever the name of my browser is to help my brain. So for me, it's Google Chrome. You can type in the name of your browser there. Got it? But no audio is coming through. Exactly. So we have to do the next step. So the next step is to make sure that you actually have a browser open that is ready to play something. So I've got just one of my videos on YouTube open here. You can play back anything on the entire internet. YouTube is just an example. I've got it open. It's ready to rock and it's ready to play something. Make sure you have that step completed before you move to the next step. Cool? Now, you need to route your audio using this menu in your computer appropriately for your internet browser. The way you get to that menu is you go down to the search bar down in the corner, just type in the word sound down there, and it should pull up sound mixer options. That's where you're gonna wanna go to route your audio. Click that and it'll pull open this menu that you see right over here on the side. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Google Chrome or Edge or whatever browser you're using, works for all browsers. And what you're gonna do is select for your input, Wavelink Browser, click that. And then for your output, you're gonna select Wavelink Stream. Don't leave these on default. If you leave it on default, it'll play back the audio in some random location your monitor maybe, your mixer, who knows, through a capture card, through your headphones, and you'll be frustrated, okay? So manually select these, cool? Once you manually select that browser and stream, then what you can do is you can test playing back your audio using your browser. So I've got just a random video of mine playing. I'm going to mute my monitor mix here so it doesn't blast you guys in the face. You guys can choose how this is mixed, by the way. You can adjust the volume here on your monitor mix. You can adjust the volume on your stream mix, and you can mute either of these as you see fit or unmute them in your headphones or on the stream mix. Cool? Then we're going to play back the audio. And boom, there it is. It worked. So as you can see, I'll move this out of the way. The audio from my browser is pumping through this channel full force. You can see the audio bars popping right there. Because I've muted it in my monitor mix, it's not showing up down here on this monitor mix, see? And it's only showing up in my stream mix, as you can see. So you can route it accordingly because you manually selected where it's going to go in these menus. Understood? So make sure you do that so you can choose how the mix is routed. That's the power of the Wavelink software is being able to adjust and select where all of your audio is going precisely without having to juggle audio and having double feedback loops and what have you in your audio mix. Go through each one of these steps. Don't skip any of them, and you'll be able to take any audio from any browser source on your computer, anything you can play on the internet, and pump it through your mix. Adjust the volumes accordingly. The power is in your hands, ands, ands, ands. Thanks for watching, and have fun routing a bunch of new audio sources into your mix. Adios.